Hey everybody, it's Alex at Motoroso.com and in this video we're going to take a deep dive into seven power mods that you can do on your third generation Tacoma to make it feel a little bit more juicy. Now the biggest complaint most people have about their Tacoma is that it feels like a dog. Regardless of whether you got the four cylinder or the six cylinder, it just feels like it's not putting out the kind of power that you want it to. The aftermarket offers lots of great options to actually make it feel much more powerful, whether that's mild modifications or extreme modifications. And we're gonna cover a range of those here in this video. These are just our opinions. And yes, we sell some of these products. And as usual, we'll put links to those products in the description of the video. Those links will take you to motoroso.com where you can reach us on live chat for help or call us toll-free anytime at 833-MOTOROSO and we'd love to help you out with your Tacoma build. Let's go. First and foremost, one of the most popular mods we sell for Tacomas, period, is the Pedal Commander. That's a throttle controller module that gives you 36 levels of control over the sensitivity of your throttle pedal, giving you more access to the power your Tacoma is already making without making any actual changes to the performance of the engine and no effect on your warranty. Now how this thing works is that all modern vehicles operate on a drive-by wire system. That means the pedal is sending an electrical signal to the computer to tell it how much throttle you want. And Toyota programs this to feel a certain way. And it's got a lot of lag in it. And they even have a sport button that you can hit on some trim levels and that's gonna make it feel more responsive. If you like that feature and you want a supercharged version of that plus an eco mode that'll help you save fuel, then the Pedal Commander is perfect. It's a very simple device that simply plugs into that connector at the top of the throttle pedal, it takes about five minutes, and then you can either connect to it with a Bluetooth app to control it or use the buttons on the device, you can do both, and it's gonna give you 36 levels of control. Now even skeptics that don't think this is gonna be that impressive put that in sport or sport plus mode and cannot believe just how much more responsive your Tacoma can be. And actually that sport plus mode is so responsive that you touch the pedal and the thing just takes off. It's almost too much, but having it there and not using it is better than not being able to access it at all. Now they also offer an eco mode. We are all getting killed at the gas pump right now and you can pop this thing over into eco mode and it'll make that pedal slower and more laggy than stock, helping you save fuel. It's a really handy feature. I also like it off-road. If you're in a slippery rock crawling situation where it's wet or loose and you need to maintain traction, having a touchy throttle is not going to help in that situation. This slows everything down, allowing you to crawl much more efficiently. The Pedal Commander is inexpensive, easy to install, and it's honestly one of the favorite mods that anybody gets from us. Now, if you want a mod that actually uses the electronics like tuning to actually push the engine further and get more power out of it, those are available out there, but they are very scarce and hard to find. We actually don't sell any because there's not a lot of the mainstream brands that sell those. But if you wanna do that, just be aware that it might have a negative effect on your warranty. If you get caught by Toyota, they might decide to void your warranty. So if you've got a newer truck under warranty still, I don't know if I'm gonna recommend that you do this, but check out a brand called Orange Virus Tuning. They're very well known for tuning Tacomas. Another popular and simple mod that helps you get a little bit more juice out of your motor is gonna be an exhaust system. Now this also comes with the lucky side effect of making it sound a lot better and the V6 in particular on the Tacoma can sound really good with an exhaust system. Not gonna rumble like a V8, but it sounds pretty meaty if you don't put a tinny exhaust on it. Now we recommend the MBRP single side exit exhaust as a budget option. It sounds fantastic and it's three inches all the way to the back decently loud, but it's really, really cost effective. They make it in a polished tip version and their black series with a black tip. On the higher end of the spectrum, one of the more popular options is the AFE Mach Force XP. It's still a single side, single tip exit exhaust. It has a black tip with a nice AFE logo on it and it's two and a half inches from the front to the back. It's gonna have a more refined sound and it's not gonna be as loud as the MBRP is. It's gonna come in at a little bit higher price point though because it's made out of 304 stainless steel, but that's, that material is gonna stand up to worse elements. So if you live in a tough environment or you take your Tacoma to harsh environments, you might wanna look at that model instead. AFE also makes their Rebel Cat back. Now that's gonna be a full three inch system like the MBRP, thusly it's going to be louder, but it's gonna keep that refined sound because of the density of the quality of the materials they're using, that T304 stainless steel. Now this also adds a twin tip exhaust with their two black uh, logo emblazoned tips, looks really nice. 
Exhaust systems are gonna help get exhaust gases out of the engine faster and they're gonna bump up your power. So a great complement to that is getting air into the engine more rapidly. Therefore, an aftermarket cold air intake system is helpful in flowing more air and often you can find it with a filter that's gonna be better at cleaning the air going into the engine and hopefully I don't have to explain to you why that's also a good thing for the long-term longevity and reliability of your Tacoma. Protecting that engine is a worthwhile investment. Intakes are designed a lot of different ways. You've got enclosed air boxes and open air boxes, and some are gonna feature roto-molded plastic, while others are gonna be made out of an aluminum tube. The AFE Momentum GT Pro 5R is one of the more popular intakes that we sell because it has a tuned roto-molded air chamber, uh, uh, air intake chamber, as well as a separate chamber inside that helps tune the intake sound. This actually is going to make your Tacoma sound a little meaner as well. We call that intake bark. It also features their Pro 5R filter, which is one of the highest flowing, but also best filtering filters in the industry. And it is an oiled type filter. It's an air filter, but it has oil on it to help capture as much material and particulate coming in as possible. If you want something that looks a little more interesting in the engine bay, check out the K&N with the polished aluminum tube. This is gonna look a little sharper and also it's gonna have an open box that's gonna give you more intake bark, more gain in the sound you're gonna get from this intake. One of our favorite and most popular options with our customers because of the value, it's a little bit cheaper than some of the others, is the SNB filters option. It's an enclosed box type, it has a great high flowing, high filtering filter in it and it comes in at a great price point and it works with the 2021 and up models where they change the air conditioning lines, no problem. Now both intakes and exhausts are debatable how much power they're gonna create. A lot of these manufacturers are gonna claim 10, 20 horsepower gains from these things and that's hotly debated. In reality, you're probably not going to get, nor do you care to even measure, these types of exact power gains. The biggest thing you're gonna notice by flowing more air into the engine and more exhaust gases out is that the engine can rev up and down more quickly, making it more responsive. When you combine that with something like the pedal commander, making that more sensitive, the whole thing's gonna feel much more responsive and you might gain somewhere between five, 10, maybe even upwards of 12 horsepower from these modifications combined. But one of the mods that will make a real improvement in power and is still relatively inexpensive and easy to install is gonna be the RIP ignition coil packs. Now these ignition coils are gonna send a heavier signal to your spark plug, giving you better combustion and more efficiency. This is gonna yield almost 20 horsepower bump, which is pretty significant. It is only available for the six cylinder though. Now this is a straightforward install. It's gonna take a couple hours and a little bit more patience, but it's very straightforward. You can definitely get it done in your driveway. And a natural side effect to better efficiency and combustion is gonna be a slight increase in fuel economy. Now, if you don't care about fuel economy at all and you want the nuclear option for maximum amount of power and budget is of no issue, then you should check out the Magnuson Supercharger. It's gonna set you back seven grand, but you're gonna bolt it on and have 370 wheel horsepower and it's 50 state legal, meaning that it's carb approved and you can run it in California. One more thing to note on the Tacoma is that it is geared very tall for fuel economy reasons from the factory. Now this means that when you start to put on bigger tires, this can exacerbate the gear hunting problem that some people find, where it's gonna shift between fifth and sixth at freeway speeds. So a lot of people do spend the money to go out and re-gear their Tacoma to eliminate that problem. Unfortunately, this is a very involved install and can get pretty expensive, but it does yield a much better feeling Tacoma. As usual, we'll put links to all the products in the description of this video. Those will take you over to Motoroso.com where you can reach us on live chat or call us toll free at 833-MOTOROSO. We'd love to help you with all of your Tacoma mods. If you'd like to learn more about suspension for your Tacoma, check out this video right here. We're gonna do a deep dive on all the options for lifting two, three, six inches and fitting up to 35 inch tires on your Tacoma. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.